What is going on, everybody? What's up? It's Pix, the partners back in Phoenix, right? When we left we off, are. all this shit went down. Yeah. We've got the truth behind Edgeworth, of course, being connected to everything in the goddamn planet <laughs> of the game. That's how drama always goes. Yeah. It's like, oh, your sister had an incident? I was involved in that incident. And we finally got him to let us defend his ass. Somehow. And now we're going to go talk to Gumshoe, give him the fact that we're going to go defend him. But first, we got to get all this information out of him. A lot of testimony. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> what did Miss Hart say? She said she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. Uh, what? 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 Yeah, that's an action. Yeah. She even had a photograph to prove it. Uh. Right. Uh, I saw it too. Uh, but you really can't tell from the no. photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. And then she Photoshop said, it. <laughs> she said it'll drop the quality of my, but should, should let, us, let us see who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edward in the act. <laughs> Fucking great. Just great. Uh, in any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? What? what? How, how the is that? What the fuck you talking about, dog? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be a life of death for uh, poor Mr. Edward. <laughs> we got a witness who said she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when that shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. Uh, yeah. But wait. What did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Yes. yes. There's always some way to prove it. Yeah. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth's going to ask the state to sign a public defender. Nope, nope, nope. I was just asked to file the paperwork. Nope, nope, nope. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again. For me, please. You have to con convince him. You have to make him let you defend him. Please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Dude, I, it, it's fine. I, 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 I got you, G-Dog. I, I got you. Yeah. I got you, I wonder dog. if we were supposed to do this before going. I wanted to make sure I got all the conversation <laughs> going before it was just like, okay, we're going to court now. Yeah. Look what I got. <laughs> huh. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Yeah. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. We're gonna, You're gonna fucking need it. I was it. gonna say, we're gonna fucking need it. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Are you worried about Edgeworth? Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. Yeah. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. What was his deal? All right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. Aw. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. Burgers. Hmm. Burgers. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Something Maybe happened. it's the loud noise that compares oh, to the gunshot. I don't know. When he saw his dad fucking get shot and killed. Yeah. Then again, I only got to really know him in fourth grade. <sighs> he transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. His father died. He watched him yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> and a rumble probably has to do with the fucking rumble you hear when you're fucking... Yeah, because I mean... A kid. If Edgeworth is like... In his early 20s, and the case happened 15 He's years 24. ago, that would be around... He's 24, so... Minus 15, it's 9, 4th grade, 5. Yeah, it's, yeah so that's that's <laughs> it's about right. Because when you're that little, a gunshot can sound like a fucking earthquake. Yeah, especially when it kills your father. Yeah. Poor dude, goddamn. Yeah. We just fucking left him. <laughs> Like, okay, bye. It's like, okay, you get on there, buddy. Uh, you'll be fine. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. Pat, pat. <laughs> Pat's the glass. Oh, God. Whoa. <gasps> Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Pro prosecutor there is, not prosecutor. He hasn't Sorry, lost a, a case in his 40-year career. <laughs> he hasn't lost a case in his 40-year fucking career? Fuck Jesus. you. Jesus. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god. That's not a single case. He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Sounds familiar. Uh, sounds <laughs> like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Uh, <laughs> you don't understand. 
I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. So I guess he even, even, see, even Ezra has some morals. Yeah. I guess this guy doesn't. Yeah, that's quite a claim come from someone who forges evidence. Yeah. <laughs> he taught me what it really means to prosecute. <laughs> what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, <gasps> multiplied by a factor of 10. Oh my god. Uh, so, so he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. Hmm. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. That's terrifying. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Huh? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. You Fuck you, I need your you sister. You should have found me a waterfall, <laughs> Phoenix. Should have used the shower. What are you whispering <laughs> it about? It wasn't strong enough. Uh, oh, 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 it's nothing. Well, Oh yeah, he time. has no idea what's Head in. witchcraft going on. <laughs> what sorcery is this? <laughs> Just like my dead mom. Oh, gee, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. Triggered. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Sec Miles Edgeworth. God damn it. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, God. Um. He even has a frilly thingy. <laughs> yeah. I, I know there's a name for it, but I don't remember. I can't remember Just either. Just like Levi has one, too, from Tech Yeah. I'll get us some kind of voice going quick mm. for him. Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Come on, Mike. Fucking cooperate with me for a second. Thank you, microphone. <sighs> Fool, you seriously think that I would stand here while not completely prepared? Uh, right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. <laughs> Very well, your opening statement, please. Um, he looks like a fucking vampire. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, no, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, mm. Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. <sighs> Sup, Gummy? Gummy. <laughs> Describe the incident now. Sup, Gummy Bear? Y y yes, sir. <laughs> detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Jesus. Uh, uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping at the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Two? Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. But it was just one. Yeah, as far as we know, yeah. Yeah, remember one shot to the heart and you're too late. And you're too late. Yeah, exa exactly. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's to blame, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're to blame. All right, we got an overhead map now. Testify to the court about the arrest now. Oh, God. Well, wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Wrong. There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Uh, yes, of course, you're quite right. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Woman. Well, All right, let's get some information here. This guy thinks he's a freaking king. Yeah. All well, right. a god or, you know, he's yeah. just... A man called in the station around 30 minutes after midnight. Okay, We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. Okay. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Uh. 
Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Yeah. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. <laughs> so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, because he's the only one there, you know? Yeah. Mm, I see. Very well. What? Mm. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. That, now. That's that's my line. Even the judge's like, oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> the um, fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, not much I got going on here, but... uh. All right, let's let's get pressed to see what this is, this is about the man that called the station. Mm -hmm. You received a call from a man. Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Oh God! He well, sounded Satan? like a demon. <laughs> Satan. Wow. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. He sounded like Satan. Different people. <laughs> There were two <laughs> witnesses. <laughs> ah. Their testimonies are quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping. Summoned? What are you, a fucking duel? A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? Uh, yeah, I've seen the crime as fast as we could. Uh, He's just like, objection! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was terrifying. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. I didn't expect of anything mm. at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. Do you want me to have our? So you had to arrest. Go ahead up. and pull that up quick while I try and get something figured <laughs> out here, since I've got I three voices in this. is to get our boy fucking death sentence. Yeah. All right. How fast did you get there? Like Jimmy John's fast? How long is it between <laughs> receiving the report and the live or at the rate? At the at the lake. At the rake. At obviously. the rate. <laughs> uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. Damn, that's fast. That, pretty fast. Yeah. So fast you'll freak. Jimmy John's. <laughs> trademark. <Stop. laughs> our, model, our, our model for the month is get there quick. So quick you'll freak. <laughs> oh, God. Detective, you'll remain from casually... Refrain. You'll refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Y yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What the fuck? I look forward to your next year's salary review. What the fuck? So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Did yes, sir. What the <laughs> hell? And what a twat waffle. For real. Are you sure you found Edgeworth or something? <laughs> what was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Jesus. <laughs> Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Cold, hard, objective facts. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, he's got a share of objections. You keep doing your yeah, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just like... Don't mind me going through. Didn't expect of anything at all. Oh, man, that'll make him so happy. <laughs> this is episode four, right? Or yes. five? This is episode four, uh, the first trial, which I think it's day two that we're on, pretty much, because of the day two trial. Yeah. Right. Okay. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Oh, <laughs> God. Kind of awful. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an uh, active detective from the force. Wow. Ooh. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. Oh my god, shut up. This morning a body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? Ah. There we go. That's what we need. A single bullet. Single bullet was crowded from the body. It was shot through the heart. And you're to blame. Ezra was that faintly. <laughs> Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. All right, I found the victim's body fired from a 22 caliber pistol. All right. <sighs> so we had to rush Mr. Edgeworth. So I guess I'll press that and then I'll go through the loop. And you might be able to kind of help me. W why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon on the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. That's you. Oh. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. It's like you get to speak for once. <laughs> That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. S sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon f we found in the boat was decisive evidence. Now, let me try and check something quick, because now we have... 
Uh, found the victim's body fired from twenty caliber pistol. Um, hmm. Alright, what if I press that now? What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tusk, tusk, tusk. Yeah, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. Yeah. <laughs> there were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Wow. Miss Edgeworth's right hand. I was gonna say, maybe it was a suicide, but no. What? <sighs> uh, order, order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted into evidence. Alright, fired <sighs> three times. And I, I, right hand is very specific. Yeah. So I think that's something we are supposed to remember. I we'll definitely keep it oh. in the mind. Okay. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. D Nick, he's glaring at me. <sighs> Dude, I'm fucking Very 17! Well. I'll explain. <laughs> Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, m m me? I'm too uh, tired to speak. Uh, um, I'm just too uh, awesome. <clears throat> You're not sexy at all. Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. So is that fucking car. <laughs> Indeed. I this learned that from CSI <laughs> Miami. <laughs> this leads to one inevitable conclusion. I did. You, sir, judge, are a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the bullet found in the victim's heart <laughs> was, without a doubt, fired from this pistol. CSI Miami sucks. But Horatio <laughs> is bomb. <laughs> this pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Wait, 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 wait. Order, order. This is bad. Mm. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Yeah. Well, Judge. I'd say it's almost decisive. Yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. Don't you dare at this point. However. Oh, fuck. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. That's what she's fucking here for. <laughs> I'm somewhat fatigued and will go take a br brief break. You were, you were kidding about him being tired. <laughs> I but will you're call right. my witness after the recess. Wow. Which will last 10 minutes. Judge. Y yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess now. But, but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Y yes? Wow. Um, this court will take a 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? <laughs> Jesus! He's got these people by the balls! I need some fucking Gatorade for this shit to get saucy! <laughs> wow! Like. Goddamn, son! Wow! Goddamn! Ugh. Fucking Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Ugh. Ugh. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? <sighs> yes. It was me. What? <laughs> but you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. You were right there. <laughs> uh, I heard a gunshot from very close by. Sniper rifle. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. That's what I was thinking. You mean it was a suicide? Uh, that's the only explanation I can come up with. Same. Huh. 
How am I going to convince anyone of that? But wait, no, it can't be a sniper rifle because then the bullet wouldn't match the pistol. Yeah, it was from, it was from a similar gun at least. <sighs> Say, Maya. Huh? What? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh, sorry. It's no good. Ah! I know! I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? Oh. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're used no! to this. <laughs> No, I need you here. I need you. No, of course not. I need you here. He needs here. all the help he can get right now. I can see you're always trying to help out. She is. Even if you don't actually help. It's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. Oh. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium. You can't even contact spirits. You're just a medium. <laughs> oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. <laughs> really? <laughs> Whoa. <He's> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. I've got heart palpitations, man. Come on, don't do it. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. Why would you fucking say that right in front of him? When you've, you've broken my heart, <laughs> right? <laughs> he corked his back in session. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, I'll call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Oh, boy. Let me get some Gatorade. Hold on. <laughs> All right. You drink yourself up, Lotta Hart. Are you our research student at a university? That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Ugh. Y'all need to learn some manners. Mm-mm-mm. Understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well, your testimony, please. Her voice and his voice couldn't be more opposite. I know, right? It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. And now someone just got shot in the courtroom, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There was a nary thing on the lake but that boat. All right. Do you think the second bang was an echo? Because it's a lake. No, I don't think so. I think there were... I mean, the gun was shot... Number one, the gun was shot three times. Three? Which might... The, the gun said in the court record it was shot three times. The, the gun was fired three times, so... But how come she would only hear two shots then? Well, I'm, I've got to... We've we got to figure out. I think... Enough. It, huh? Judge. She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, except it is evidence. Well, well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Uh, order. I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. <laughs> As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on the lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. No. Our boy didn't do nothing wrong. Order, order, order. I will have fucking order. McDonald's order. <laughs> mm. Large fries. Well, judge. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well. This court finds the defendant. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Wait, your honor. <laughs> I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? <laughs> we have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo's worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in a testimony? Uh. <sighs> Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You'll only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I'll have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick, con contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? <laughs> well, there has to be. 
I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. I know. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, the music stopped. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. <laughs> tisk, tisk, Very tisk. well. I pray for your sake. This isn't a waste of time. Oh boy! All right, all right. I'm, 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 I'm getting this. So, <sighs> once again, just so I can show you, because I remember it on here. If we go to the gun, fired three times. Bears Prince runs with right hand. Looks like marking, and then we've got the picture at 12:15, which shows him firing, or shows someone firing at least. All right, all right, all right. Christmas Eve just midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come from the lake. I'm gonna press that. Mm -hmm. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. Jesus, Satan. She's said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. <laughs> God, I'm just trying to get information, dog. All right, well, you should let's start the things in the boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-oh. No, press further, because it was foggy. That's why the picture is blurry. You gotta press further. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. Jump for quick real. Adding something. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's the fact that the photo has fo was foggy, right? Uh... I'm 90% sure that was it. What's this count? Uh... Where are you at in your thing? Okay. Are you lost? No. Don't you press it? You're way too low. <laughs> what do you mean? You, no, you're 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 not you you're you're not far enough in the trial. Uh, statement. She so didn't say that yet. And she didn't. So the statement. It's not as clear as the day she, the man on the boat was. Edward, wait, did she say that? I don't think so. No. Okay. Press further every time. Okay, so I've got to press further on everything, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so then there was another bang. Okay, so I just got to press everything further. <laughs> I, I guess. This is really confusing. <laughs> Apparently. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. Satan. <laughs> uh, you're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. <laughs> Thing. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? All right, near everything late but the boat. I'll press that also. Mm. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. Sounds pretty sure. <laughs> press further. Yo. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? That almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Oh my god! Mm-mm-mm. Uh... Mr. Wright. The <sighs> witness has answered the question in full. Ugh. Jesus. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Even Edgeworth never did this to us. <laughs> he always let us, you know... Yeah, I like how he just objection sustained the judge. Yeah. Uh, um, that's what I'm... Sustained. Yes, of course! Oh, great. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? He it, sustained an objection from there. the fucking judge. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. Maya's really taking this hard. Well, yeah. Alright, maybe there's more that I should press at the beginning, I guess. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. God damn it, you prick. I know you want to find contradictions, but really. Uh. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. 
I can't take this abuse much more. <laughs> Witness, continue your testimony. Uh, uh, and then you're in your car. That's the last thing that I can really press further on. Why were you camping there anyway? Mmm, I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures of using my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press, Press further. further. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? What? What does the witness's <sighs> motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? Everything. The answer is nothing. <laughs> I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Well, well wait now. I'm the one who says that. Well, then say it already. Objection sustained. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Enough! I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you're unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth nothing. B but Your Honor! You keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that we'll have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, uh-huh. Nick! A lot of testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean, but if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe I covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Ashworth, please take your stand. Uh, well, who, who was that? Is that Mia? <gasps> or, no, it's just gonna what? be Maya. It was me. Maya? It, he, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just so shocked. Is, is something wrong? Do, do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. A lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Lotta, did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. What's the big idea of treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him. I swear it. I saw his word. Enough, judge. Declare the defense in contempt of court. Y y yes, yeah, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. God, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. Fuck. No. <laughs> no. Huh? Wait! Oh, wait. I, <laughs> I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent! What the- wait, mm -mm -mm. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Uh, wrong. Wrong, prick-ass bitch. Prick-ass bitch? Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. Mm-hmm. That was not in the testimony. It wasn't. That changed the testimony. I have a right to cross-examine her again. Bitch. <laughs> order, 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 order. God damn. <laughs> You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. I'm going to drop an Judge, EP. <laughs> sustain my objection. Ah. Uh... Mm. Get some balls, buddy. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Kummer, but I cannot. What? Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. A defense does not have a right to cross-examine. Uh, defense does have does, a right. Does, <laughs> by all fucking means, have a right to cross-examine her trying again. trying to throw us out of court, babe? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. B but he's in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. But mm. you've already been arrested once, girl. <laughs> Very well. My affair. You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. M Maya. It's all I could Thank do. Thank you so much. I'll get you that burger, all right. <laughs> Puh. 
I care not for this melodrama. I do, it's what I live Listen for. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. Yeah. I better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. <laughs> All right. That last statement. Yeah. All right. So this is the one thing that I have. I literally can't change anything. This is it. Oh, <laughs> oh he's like, that's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't squander Meyer's efforts either. All right. Now then, if I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the photo, right? Yep. Yeah, because it's fucking foggy. Yeah. Prick ass Clear bitch. as day, huh? Present. Boo. Hey, yo, bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, what? You got what? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then made me laugh. Had it her eyes get so red. <laughs> and what the hell is on Joey's head? And I've I been copyright striked. Jimmy's head. Pretty sure it's Joey. I'm the one who used to listen to Nickelback all the time. I thought it was Jimmy. You're too busy thinking of wrestle with Jimmy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> all right, next time, we'll take a look at this photograph and see if it makes you laugh. As we tap it. Dink, dink, tap, dink, tap, 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 tap. This is a good piece of paper right here. Tap, it's a nice tap, tree. What is it? Tap, tap, oh, tap. balsa. How'd they make this? <laughs> balsa. <laughs> That's just expensive. It's an expensive piece of paper for legal reasons. 